We started the contest back in 1995 out at the Pueblo uh, Memorial Airport where we had a small group of paper airplane enthusiasts show up and we just kind of flung them across the parking lot and, and saw how far they'd go. It was kind of a windy day so our, our furthest flight was well over a hundred feet but hardly scientific so uh, over the years I had it in different places uh, and uh, I promoted it through my column which is in at first was called Saturday morning special and then we moved it to Monday so we call it Monday morning special and I it was basically kind of an underground thing I called it fly Pueblo paper uh, because there was a Fly Pueblo campaign that encouraged people to fly out of Memorial Airport. And, and so it was kind of a satirical thing. We, we did some uh, interesting things with it over the years. We, we had one event at the, at the Pueblo Zoo where a, a turkey wandered in the middle of our course and uh, kind of disrupted things that, that was kind of memorable. Uh, we oh, we were the first event in the Pueblo Convention Center, and I think one of the airplanes might still be in there somewhere. And uh, after a few years, we decided to move it to the Wise Broad Museum at the at the airport. Um, the reason was there's a lot of cool old planes to look at there, and the people were very welcoming. Uh, I had a kind of a snit with them in 2014 when. Uh, I got a, a curt letter that said that I couldn't have it on the weekend. I wanted to have the contest. And that uh, probably opened up the door to the biggest mistake we made with the contest, which was Plain of Palooza, which was uh, a month-long event that had eight different venues and kind of wore me out. So I decided to go back to the Wise Broad Museum this year. I, I know that we had a lot of fun during Plain of Palooza, but our participation level uh, kind of varied at the events, so it wasn't a real good experiment, but it was it's always been fun. Um, the purpose of the event is to continue to have fun doing a, a kind of a what most people would call a wasteful, uh, time-consuming activity of folding and flying paper airplanes. I think uh, in the process, uh, some people learn a lot about aerodynamics and, and uh, origami, so it's, it's always fun.